BlackRock is set to acquire database provider Prequin for $3.2 billion. And it's the latest push for BlackRock, best known for its index funds, to become a player in alternative assets and the democratization of it. Prequin competes with Bloomberg LP, the parent of Bloomberg News. Joining us now is Scylla Brush, who covers BlackRock for Bloomberg. How do you think about this latest push? They bought GIP earlier this year. They're now buying Prequin. They seem to be making this massive alternative. Push. They are. You know, it's a company that has, at the end of March, ten and a half trillion dollars. Best known originally as a fixed income manager, then a massive deal to expand into ETFs and index assets, which of course boomed over the last ten to fifteen years. And what they see now, and in the last you know matter of six months to a, to a year or so, is the growth, the really fast growing world of private assets. And, and they've made a concerted push to expand um, and try to bulk up both in scale, assets, technology, risk management, across the kind of different parts of BlackRock's company. And when you look at the different pieces, uh, and most notably the two deals, GIP for $12.5 in January, and this deal uh, announced you know, yesterday and into this morning uh, for $3.2 billion, you see the sort of um, details being fleshed out of their plan. Now, we only have about a minute left here, Scylla, but explain how hard of a path it has been to get here for BlackRock to transition into the world of alternatives. I mean, I, th I think what you've seen in the market is some of the, you know, the Blackstones, Apollos, KKRs, you know, just massive growth in private assets over the last, you know, decade plus. And again, I think BlackRock is, you know, sees this and sees the, you know, the growth, the potential growth for them, uh, and they've identified certain areas within private assets that they want to essentially own. And infrastructure is a massive play for them. And the second area is in terms of technology, how to integrate the potential risks of that private assets alongside public securities, stocks and bonds, which they've already, you know, are dominating markets for. How do they combine public and private assets into kind of a whole portfolio? And their play and idea is putting it together essentially as one firm. I want to read a quick quote from Larry Fink on the call with investors. We believe we can index the private markets. Our thanks to Scylla Brush for all his coverage. Of course, this was all confirming a Bloomberg scoop uh, that we had earlier regarding this BlackRock frequent deal.